Who forgot to put his cell phone on fire rate and fire rate on cell phone? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> My cell phone is empty. So I'm actually. Oh, my cell phone is all my bad. Let my me check. Cell phone, my cell phone is actually charging up, so it can't be. It's not my phone. I was right, but my cell phone isn't ringing. <laughs> oh, it's my ca character's phone. Oh. Hi guys, it's Mega Man Dragonite playing Phoenix Rider, the Ace of Attorney, the third game of the trilogy. And uh, we're here with Shira and also Josh Shan. How's it going, guys? Hey, guys. <laughs> now let's put that cell phone on, on quiet. Ah, oh, Pearls! Where are you? I thought I'd go to Lordy Taylor to try some more clues. I'm afraid I got lost. What? Give me that phone, Nick. Pearly! Where are you right now? Um, I was walking along when I found myself in front of that person's office. Person? Who? And the person who doesn't act his age is always says Sarabi when he's excited. Luke Anthem. Ace detective. More ace as if. <laughs> okay, so you're right there. We're coming to get you. Well, more like ace asshole. He no, needs. No, no, no. no. Uh, Pinocchio uh, butt cheek. <laughs> but chin, I mean. Uh, oh, my God, I'm a little scared. Beep. All right, let's go, Maya. Wait a sec, Nick. What? That phone call just now sounded like a real cutie. Oh, you better. You better not, butts. You better not. You are a predator. Another one of your um, special friends? Special? Yes. Friends? Yes. Girlfriend? No! Say goodbye to Miss Delight for me, will you, Larry? <laughs> Bye, Larry. Ditto face. Hey, what? Wh 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 what? Why is there a, a, a bag on the table? I wasn't there before. October 12th at me, detective agency. Why is there a bag on the table? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Figure. Ah, Mr. Nick! Mr. Maya! Really? I never thought I would see two of you again. Aww. Aww. Daddy. So is Mr. Ace Detective out of his office? Yes, I arrived here. There wasn't a single soul inside. Sorry, Nick. Doesn't look like something changed since we here last. Yeah, on the table. Now that you mention it. This bag, I'm sure it wasn't here before. It looks quite full. I wonder what could be in here. Hey, Nick, come on, open it up. Hey, wait a minute. We can't just open his private property. Don't be much a fuddy duddy. This is an important investigation. That's true. And truth be told, I have to admit, I'm kind of curious. Well, what's in there? Hang on a second. I'm taking it out now. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard. Smooth. Well, hello there. He's here! Hi, dude. 
I do what are you me. doing, sir lawyer? I'm shocked to see a servant of the court ignoring the law so flagrantly. I'm, I'm really sorry, Maya made me do it. What? I can't believe you. A gentleman never uses a lady as an excuse for his own poor behavior. The real question is, can you afford to waste time lollygagging about here? What do you mean by that? Perhaps I should make myself more clear. Tomorrow's trials, fire. Shall we say the figurative Sir William will be dropping his panties before lunchtime? Wow, Nick, sounds like he's gonna be really exciting that he pissed even himself. He's just dead in. You have taken a step down the path of foolishness. To try to defend the career criminal who deserves nothing less than a death penalty. Hey, last time I checked, no one knows for sure that Mr. Delight really is the master. <laughs> oh, my dear lady. Times may change, but people sadly do not. Well, you understand this when you are more mature. Um, what's going to happen at tomorrow? Or trials tomorrow or so directly? Do you know what your biggest mistake so far has been, sir lawyer? It was becoming a lawyer in the first place. Certainly does sound like a big mistake, Mr. Nick. Tomorrow will be a day to remember. I, look at me, will take the sand. Um. And then, Safari, my testimony will prove to be the undoing of a lot of you. Yes, all of you. I will unmask you as the Feast Co-Conspirator. Conspirators? <laughs> You're quick on the defensive, I see. However, it is not that it is not I that is your greatest enemy. There is a far more dangerous threat that you will face during the trial. On karma. What are you talking about? Sir Lawyer, if you truly are who you say, I'm sure you've heard of him. His name is Goddard. Goddard? Goddard? Goddard. Um, who is this Goddard person? It's not surprising that a spirit medium has not heard the name. Goddard, the prosecutor whose equal cannot be found in this country, but in heaven. Goddard, a legend or myth, men pin a lifetime of hopes on a chance to safely meet him. Prosecutor Goddard? But the best prosecutor in it country isn't got it, it's Mr. Edgeworth. Isn't that right, Nick? It's no surprise that a spirit medium such as yourself would know nothing of this. But eight prosecutor Miles Edgeworth is currently traveling abroad. All aboard! Aww. In fact, it was Mr. Edgeworth who acknowledged Goddard as the best in this country. Yeah, right. We're gonna burn his ass. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that?
Most certainly. In fact, you could call him the Luke Atme of the prosecutor's office. No, Luke. No, not that name. No. I don't think he's saying that it's him that's the prosecutor. Well, that's good to hear. The prosecution has been fighting chance tomorrow. Is he a physical that really that strong? Hmm. I seem to remember hearing about someone like that. surprising some people spend their entire lives idly waiting for his appearance Gosh. it looks like we're done investigating for the day <laughs> sir lawyer the stage has been set and all the pieces are finally in place all that remains now is for the dance to begin Oh, <laughs> a new prosecutor, a ace detective, and a thief. It should be a tough trial. We're doing the cha cha! <laughs> no, we're doing the mango. <laughs> the macarena. We gotta do the macarena. <laughs> no, we, no, we are doing the dinosaur. We open the door and, and get out the door. The dinosaur. Everybody do the dinosaur. <laughs> we open the door, get on the floor, everybody do the dinosaur. Hey, <laughs> I'll put it there. Because we know the recording went yeah, good. Danny yep. is all around doing cha 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 cha. October 13, 9, 36am, Discord for Defendant Lobby number 4, but we are with number 3 people! Yeah, no! Pearls! Shall we on board? Pearls is there! On board. Hey, Nick! What is it? Is something wrong? Nah, but did you see all the people here? It's crazy! Oh, so check out this mask star, the mask you have gloss. He I bought. Nice. You bought this where? In the little fancy the courthouse. They have all sorts of things for sale. You know, I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. Yeah. And she oh, sucked for it. Into the court record. Come on, I'm guilty. Throw the book at me. Who's screaming like that? Oh, Mr. Wright, you made it. Yeah, I did. But it does doesn't look like things are going to get any less ugly for you. Because I did it. I'm the criminal. Me. Me. Oh, he's at it again. I sent a calling card to Lori Taylor. Admit it. Yeah, why do you admit right away that you are also the mass great and uh, it's for karma and uh, uh, Phoenix Wright and go on and go on. But you don't have the sacred urn, right? Well, that's true, but that doesn't mean that I didn't commit the crime. Normally I will say, of course you didn't, but I'm being sarcastic, but you yikes! Anyway, I admit that I'm guilty. Guilty as charged. So make sure they give me a guilty verdict, please! Oh, dear, you are bunny. Bonjour, sweetie. Oh, that's the honey. Bonjour. Well, actually, I don't really know why I should be speaking French to you at a time like this. Leave it all to me, Ronnie. I swear I protect you. Um, uh, ah, uh, well, uh, you see, 
Actually, the thief is uh, me. Can I tell you something, Nicky boy? I can guarantee that my Ronnie is innocent. If he is declared guilty, I will be ever so cross with you. So why are you smiling when you say it? Well, if you excuse me, I got some errands I need to take care of. I'm counting on you, Nicky boy. Good luck. Nicky boy. To be honest, I really don't know when Ron is masquerade or not. But there's one thing I'm sure of. He doesn't have the sacred urn right now. Hello, Justin. Mr. Delight, it's time for you to enter the courtroom. For the time being, I guess I have to trust Miss Desiree. 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 October 13, 10 a.m. The Scott Court, courtroom number six. We were three people! <laughs> yes! Oh, it's, it, it's the robot guy. Oh, yes! Now it's for the trial of Mr. Ron <laughs> Defense is ready, Your Honor. Mm. You should do him. I'm already doing him! Dips on him! Okay, okay. what about the prosecution? Okay. Are you prepared to... Okay, Danny, slow down with your voice, please. So sorry. What a stupid question. What did you say? Fine, let me ask you then, your honor. Are you ready? Are you ready to pass judgment? Uh, what? No, I I'm not. I will pass judgment after I hear arguments from both sides. Well, if you're not ready yourself, you shouldn't expect others to be. That's a rule to live by. Uh, who, who are you? I am Goddard, legendary prosecutor. I n never lost a case. He's the one of the detective at me was talking about. Yes, your reputation precedes you. What kind of cases have you dealt with so far? Ha! <laughs> None. Uh, what did you say? I never prosecuted a case before. So he isn't never, but you say you've never lost before. I'm sure I was saying something, bro. Oh, sorry. If he says he's the best one he never, and he said that he never lost one, so he never did one before, so. This is perfect. Exactly. I never lost. I never won I before either. You're quite arrogant for a beginner, aren't you? Even the mightiest red woods begin their lives as mere saplings. Just like a little pup. Lang Vesas! You begin as a pup, you become a wolf! <laughs> Indeed, I like this wolf guy. You must no, be at my side. No, 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 I am the wolf guy here. I am the <laughs> young man. She yeah, that's what I said. I said I like this guy. I like this wolf guy. <laughs> no, I am Shi Long Lang. I know. Yes, but a mask in a court of law. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know anything? No matter the man, we we'll all wear masks, either on our faces or over our f hearts. Mm. This guy is a real deal, alright, Nick? Why does it seem <laughs> like all prosecutors are the real deal? Are we fine to meet Mr. Phoenix Wright? Right. Huh? Nick? Is he a friend of yours? No, I don't even have any friends that call me Wright. Because who is this masked guy? I have returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. 
Well then, uh, Prosecutor Gobo. Gobo. GoPro. Gobo. It's not Gobo, it's got that your honor. In any case, please give your opening statement. Opening statement? Those things are, are not fit for even dogs in the costume. And not only I have only one thing to say before we start. To you, Mr. Trite. What is it? Are you familiar with the saying a chain is as long as strong as the weakest link? I wonder how much can I withstand before you and your case break in two? <laughs> hmm. Well then, let's hear from the first witness. <laughs> hey, gummy! <laughs> sure. uh, well, her name is. Uh... No one asked for your name, witness. <laughs> the important thing is that you, what you know. That's all. Start talking, we're listening. Uh, yes, sir. All right, witness. First, let's hear about... What you know about the thief that stole the urn. Yes, sir. Witness testimony, start. Mask the Maskier is a master thief that first started his crime spree six months ago. He's so confident that he sends his calling card before he even commits the crime. This was his fifth heist, and as usual, he sent a card on to Lordly Taylor. His pattern is to always go after only the most precious art pieces. That's why we're sure it was Master Masque, sir. It fits his MO to a T. Hmm, so then the actual identity of this Master Masque is. Mr. Goddard, what do you do? Mmm, coffee in the morning. Ah. <laughs> We're in the middle of a trial here, Mr. Goddard. Blacker than a moonless night, hotter than a bitter than hell itself. This is coffee. I'm sure you can grab me at least this much, Your Honor. Oh, and please proceed. <laughs> Very well. It's only coffee after all. What? You cannot be letting him slide this early in the trial. <laughs> Proceed with your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. And I see why I wanted him in. <laughs> well, Nick, what are you saying? Going to do? As long as they don't have Optimus Delight's identity, all we can do is sh to show it wasn't the Maz Muscade who stole the urn. Okay, hey, Mayor dear Watson. Okay, so you present the sacred urn on the fourth or fifth statement. We're going for fourth because it's quicker. Here we go. The sacred urn. Can I ask you a little something, Detective Gumshoe? Just hearing the word little and that question is making me nervous. You said that was always goes after the most precious art pieces, right? That's right, pal. But there's no one problem. That's not what he did in this case. The supposed priceless urn doesn't exactly rise to the level of precious art. 
What do you mean? Nick, how can you say such a terrible thing? Well, dear Maya, to be honest, it's because the urn is precious in your place doesn't mean it's art. It's a relic. No, I meant from the financial point of view. I mean, it's one of fetch a good price. Well, prosecutor got it. What is the value of that urn? The operators I spoke to said they couldn't attach a price to it. I mean that, that in the worst sense. So in other words, it was not kind of an item the mask I would normally go after. Yeah. Hmm, if I understand you correctly, Mr. Wright. <laughs> you're saying that the theft of the sacred urn was not the work of Master the Mask <laughs> What are you laughing about? <laughs> oh, hey, I'm back in the server again. <laughs> Something's making her happy. <laughs> uh... <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Sir, what's going on, Sir? I'm not fully understanding it yet. Oh, you will see. You will see. It sounds ominous, surprisingly. You will see. You will see. <laughs> you will see. Curious <laughs> what's going on, but okay. Let's keep on going, bro. <laughs> yeah, there's only a bugger here. I'm still not sure what you're laughing about, Shira. You will see. Okay. You will see. Actually, all I did was point out the contradiction. The argument made itself, but... Well, first of all, <sighs> we need to get this issue cleared up. Was this last robbery the work of Master Mescue or not? What do you have to say about this, Mr. Gollard? Mmm, coffee. Mm, coffee this coffee here is my very own special blend. I call it the Gollard number 107. I'm trying to decide whether to cut it down to the acidity or the bitterness. That's the only thing I got on my mind right now. Mr. Dright. What? If you really are a man, you should clean up your own mess. Um, sorry, I don't get what you mean. If you're saying it wasn't a mess of mess gate that stole the urine, then it must be someone imitating the mess gate. It's mad. A fake. A fake, the mess Sounds ridiculous, but I like it. And now I have another coffee. Time to put it to the test. <laughs> now, before I decide on my coffee, believe some proof is in order, Mr. Trite. Proof that the person who appeared to the Lordy Trader that night was actually a fake. Ah, oh, tasty coffee. <laughs> mm. Though I don't approve of Mr. God's behavior, his point is valid. Mr. Wright, we're waiting. It looks like I'm going to prove it. I need proof that the person who traded that night was in fact a fake masquerade. Tell me, bro. <laughs> okay, so, if you don't, don't present it but if you look at the security camera photo and compare it to the publicity photo there's supposed to be differences between the two uh -huh. 
Yep. The okay. thing around his so, neck. So, you present the security camera photo, and then mm -hmm. at after that you present the um. Well, after that you had to show the difference. So. Good yeah, telling me or like before you spoil it. Good choice. A for effort, right, Shira? Yeah. Sorry. Well, that you didn't spoil the like the giveaway yet. You told me to take a look at it first. Good call. <laughs> Happy to help. The proof is right here. This looks like a photo taken by a security camera. But if you look closer, you notice something particular about it. Hmm, what are you talking about? You attorney, are you trying to say that my coffee is bad? Well, go ahead. Well then, why don't you show... Don't go ahead and show us what it is. Go on, use the pointer and show us what it is. Uh, okay. Beep, 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 beep. Beep. It's right here, of course. You mean Mars DMSQ? I have here a piece of reference that look I would like the court to take a look at. Isn't that the publicly photo I brought this morning? The problem is I have with this security photo is the brush on the Benescu's chest. A breach here. Bailiff, get my steed. We need to retreat at once. He has a steed? <laughs> a brush, Your Honor, and sort of kind of case for holding one's cape on it. A clasp, eh? Ah, I see now. But the mask, the but the mask, the mask is in the security camera photo. I think you're doing his voice wrong, bro. <laughs> Sorry, it, it gets a little bit confusing for me at times. Yes, guy, take your time. Try to recollect like your mind. But the mask, the mask in the security camera photo. That's him. Uh, he has no brooch. And the brooch is the same as the emblem on the mask calling card and services symbol. But the thief that broke into the lo Lordy trailer wasn't wearing the brooch. In other words, this mask is a fake! Hmm? I've been fooled again! It's true. Undeniably true. To Detective Gumshoe, how how could you have overlooked this? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I don't know how I. Ah, my dirt coffee. Hey now. Be right back, guys. Okay. Okay. If you're gonna have a pity party, invite me too. M Mr. God, you deserve some blame in this too. How could you have overlooked such a large brooch? Ha! The brooch you're talking about? You mean this? Ah! <laughs> ah! That's the MSK brooch! Where did you find it? Well, I always had a good nose for evidence. I got it at the crime scene. It was hidden in some shadow of a big female Buddha statue. Buddha statue? He means the Amy Face statue? Why didn't you tell me about that, sir? I always put evidence away in my pocket. After all, it's the safest place in the crucial evidence. 
<laughs> that shit had to be well away. <laughs> what do you, do you think I'm doing as that guy, bro? <laughs> this is an interesting case. Yeah, but I mean, how do you think I'm doing as prosecutor of that one? <laughs> yeah, you do a pretty good job. Yeah, huh? I really want to meet this wolf guy. He sounds really interesting. Maybe he and I can be best buddies. <laughs> how is that? <laughs> That was really good, bro. All I am trying to do is bring some deep depth into my voice and sound him like he is mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is wearing a mask, so <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh me 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 Oh good. Hey, where's my um hmm? Okay, you have some? No, I'm just checking something. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, this guy is one of a cool customer. Hey! You like my character! Yay! <laughs> ah, my fourth coffee. Shake it, but not stir it, my little lady. <laughs> it's a little early to be shaken up, isn't it, little lady? Hmm. That friend of yours left a pretty little hiccups on there, too. <laughs> How the How heck did that even happen? What? Stop right there, guys! Stop right there and look at the chat! Look what serious. <laughs> How did you do that? That's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that one! <laughs> That's so crazy. Have you done that, Sarah? That was the one I'm actually laughing. <laughs> did you do that, Sarah, or did you find that somewhere? That just looks better, right? <laughs> it looks funny as hell. He looks like a crazy professor. Oh, I, I misplaced the date. Oops. Nah. Not fixable anymore. That's okay. I don't care. I was going up you should of her bro, bro, when you do, when you put this on YouTube, you should show that picture. You should show people what we were looking at. No, uh, I I can try. Okay, I can try. That's so. Uh, okay. It sure is. Pickups. 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 Okay, okay. Figure is speaking, of course. I'm referring to run the light fingerprints. What? What? The defendant's fingerprints are on the brooch? Order! Order in the court! Mr. Got it. Let's see that brooch. I'm gonna t attach to my medical girlfriend here. Take good care of her. Hmm. Gee, uh, I mean, it appears to have been torn off some clothing. 
There's a little bit of cloth left on the back. I'm basically upset for there. Help. Emma, obviously. Thank you. Obviously. obviously, there must be have been some big struggle the night at at the crime scene. Uh oh, Phoenix, we have a problem. <laughs> Reference. <laughs> Right? Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you mess with the got it. And you get burned. Uh, he's playing me like a violin. Well, Judge, I'm about to, to call my next witness. Oh, you're done with me, but I haven't proved anything yet. You're proving your own incompetent incompetence. That's good enough. That doesn't sound good at all. Elif, bring the next witness into the court. Fine, time to the ace detective to make his appearance, huh? Second in one drip of coffee pot. Let's hurry up. Shh, silence. I tell you. <laughs> now I see. It's all becoming clear. You don't see. What's clear? So far, the truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. What we have here is a judge and a prosecutor, a coffee maniac at that. Hey, it's coffee is good for you. Maniac on the floor. It wakes up your The coffee wakes up the mind and it gives a good morning call for you too. So we don't call me a maniac, buddy. I just wanna let you know. Get it? I get it. Am I correct? Well, well yes, that's right. Huh, not bad. Not bad at all. The first person that's able to penetrate my secret file. Well, Sir Prosecutor, let me introduce myself. My name is Luke Atme, Ace Detective and Rising Star Illuminating the Heavens. Boy, these two make a perfect pair. They either be best friends or they tear each other other's heads off. I've heard that on the night of the crime, you were all alone on security detail. You have heard correctly. Mm. My specially made monocle is worth more than a hundred detective gumshoes. If detective gumshoe was worth anything, that is. Why was this guy all by himself anyway? He has no alibi. There must be some reason, I'm sure of it. Well then, tell us what this special monocle of yours witness. Witness my power! It was approximately one o'clock in the morning, just after the date changed. That's when my nemesis, the infamous Mask de Mascu, dancingly descended upon me. Just as I began to turn, the coward struck a fierce blow upon my noble head. Darkness swallowed me before I could land a single strike. When I awoke, he was gone. Thirty minutes later, I used an emergency phone to notify the police. Something feels wrong. 
Yeah, the bear must be up, right? So you didn't get a clear look at the criminal. My specially made monocle never misses a thing. However, that is limited to things that fall within my own visual range. But of course, that's only natural. I, I fail to see why the witness seemed so proud of his performance that evening. <laughs> well, sir old timer, let me explain. We are not speaking of any ordinary thief. Now Justin is all the Justin. <laughs> Justin is going to get justice, or we're on as Justin. <laughs> Uh, oh, that eye. Yeah, it does, eh? But of the King of Thieves, the great mask they must you, my arch enemy. <laughs> that is why my instincts and my years of experience tell me. That is what, sorry, that is what, mate. Hmm, very well. Proceed with the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Okay, hear me, Watson. Okay, so you present the brooch on either the third or fourth statement. We're going for third because it's easier. That nose, man. Oh my god, that nose. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Mr. Adam, can you take a look at this with it, your special monocle of yours? Aha, uh -huh. this belongs to the criminal mastermind, my arch nemesis, Master Masque. It is, in point of fact, Master Masque's brooch. It was found on the floor of the basement warehouse. I wonder how it, that happened. <laughs> ha. Elementary, my dear lawyer. Obviously, it wasn't glued on well enough. Not quite. It clearly shows signs of having been ripped off a piece of clothing. Ripped off? Aha. Uh -huh. We can only deduce that the thief struggled with someone that night. That's the only thing I can come can think of. And there's only one person that is in she to have struggled with the thief. The only person that was on the security duty that night was you, Detective Adam. Detective uh. Adam, you must have fought with Thief that night. So why did you lie in your testimony to court? Witness, giving false testimony is a serious crime. Uh, I, no. Wait just a moment, sir, old timer. Oh, 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 oh. Don't talk to me like I'm living in a nursing home. <laughs> I, I just remembered, Your Honor. I was just confused because I've been dealing with so many cases lately. The true measure of the, a man is amount, the amount of work he does. That's what I always say. Nick, you can only handle one case at a time, isn't that right? We <laughs> talk too much. Yeah. Goodness, so are you now saying that you and the thief fought? Hold on, that's quite enough, Joanna. Excuse me. Ah, there's my next coffee. Save the big questions for the testimony. That's one of my rules, capiche? Indeed, I understand. I look at me agree completely. Get the picture. Okay, what did, what did we got this time? Our <laughs> 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 signals really did grow. <laughs> <laughs> I 
need to use that for the thumbnail. That's freaking great. No, 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 not with the with my Discord back. <laughs> no, no, no. I will. I will add another way. No worries. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Okay. Five with a thief. Indeed, it's true that I looked away from the door for a brief moment. However, look at me, cannot be easily discombobulated. Big word. Unfortunately, the thief grabbed a weapon from the side and rendered me senseless. A true gentleman fights only with his own fists, but they were not enough. His first blow struck true. Bam. And that's all she wrote. So, in the end, you did catch a glimpse of Malice Damascus. Correct. It was during his third crime that he struck me from behind. Is he lying even more? <laughs> Let me see. Yep, he was lying again. It's his fifth crime! Oh. It seems that my memory has become a jet head jumbled, so to speak. Thank you. Wait a minute. Did an end. Hmm. Well, that's certainly understandable. I, myself, always get confused about which testimony goes with which case. Yeah, it can be good. Okay! Hit me, Pinocchio! Alright, so... Um, let's see... You have to press on the fifth statement. Give me a moment. I'm a little bit watching my hands. Ah, much better. Feels cleaner. Okay, one, two, three, four. Press, you said, right? Mm hmm. Can you tell us a little more about what happened? My opponent was both powerful and vicious. You might say he was power ishus. Power ishus. Even long. Wait. What did it all changed? What? You said it again. What? Or do you made it longer? No. <laughs> Can you manage? I assumed the Atme fighting stance, but a sudden flash of light blinded me. You don't stay! That, of course, was checkmate. My opponent <laughs> had bested me. What I do now? Should I ask more about this? Um. Yeah, so you say the Atme fighting style. Oh, I was thinking you were blinded. Oops, not mind. What is Atme fighting style? I'm sorry, but that's a trade secret. I really can't say anymore. But I suppose I can tell you if I absolutely must. The main thing is to put your back to the wall. That way, no one can get behind you. Basically, push him out. That's it? That's the enemy of fighting style? Well, Mr. Wright, what about that testimony? It was very important. Of course it's important. We learned the detective secret technique, after all. 
Yes, indeed. I'll remember to use it if I ever take a walk alone late at night. Why the heck is he eyeballing me like that? It's creeping me out. Now then, witness. We'll go ahead and add that secret information to your official testimony. Alright. Um, do, 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 do. So you present the uh, green sword fiend, the Shizitsu or whatever it's called. That's the one. Detective Enemy. And me, your testimony is crumbled like a house of cards. What fun this is, Sir Lawyer. It is truly a pleasure to cross swords with you. And now, once again, you have thrown down the gauntlet at my armored feet. I believe this is what you said yesterday. No, oh, the cow must have wormed his way in through somewhere besides the door. Then my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with this gruesome item here. From behind, huh? Um, but just now you testified you, you struck you on the forehead. I hardly think you could forget where you were hit on the head. Ugh, it seems I've made another mistake. You are definitely Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Uh, Take this enemy. That's all the only strange la, la, la. part of your testimony. <laughs> what do you mean by that? For an example, the fact that you hide the calling card from the police itself is strange. And mostly as if you were afraid they were going to help the security. <laughs> Geniuses such as myself have always been misunderstood. How sad. That's wrong. To err is meant to forgive divine. Humans are machines, they have souls, feelings. They live, they die, they love, they hate, and yes, they even make mistakes. Hey, hold on. It's not uh, as pretty as that. Really? Is that like then? Always chase a riddle down to the end. That's one of my rules. This is it. This might be my chance to turn things around. Mr. Wright, what exactly is it that you're asserting? Farewell, Your Honor. The defense asserts that. Uh, Mr. Atme is Master Mescue. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. The answer is simple. It all, it's all clear to me now. Detective Luke Adam, the true identity is actually met. Masking Ms. K. Yug! <laughs> Ordering the court. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? There are two unnatural parts to Adam's story. He says he was hit hiding below. It's all fly. He says he was hiding at the crime scenes, which is why no one ever saw him there. Then in the last case, he managed to. I performed the detective gumshoe and the entire police force to retrieve the stolen treasure. That's, be that's because I analyzed the crime scene data and made an exquisitely elegant deduction. It's that you are the best star Come on, it's, I see it all over your face. Sweating. <clears throat> I picked up clues that the police have looked in order to arrive at a... Oh please, I'm saying it's far blood than that, Detective Anime. The truth is that you are in fact the, ma the Mesquite. 
But, but Mr. Wright, this photo, it clearly shows Master Maskew. The security camera belongs to the Lord Lowly Taylor department store. He shouldn't have been able to ma manipulate it. He didn't mean to manipulate it. He gained access to the warehouse under the presented profiling security. And he simply dressed up as the thief and stole the urn. So the ace detective is actually an ace thief. Is this true, witness? Aha. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 the accused MO is pure genius. And so am I. Look at me, ace detective. You're very clever to have come to such a conclusion. I am impressed, sir lawyer. Oh, what? Witness, you, you're admitting it? Nick, Nick, now's your chance. Yeah, it's time to put the last nail in this guy's coffin. Oh. Take it around me. Why are you assume that? Oh. What the? Somebody took <gasps> <laughs> Got a blend one on the two, my free personal favorite. Mr. Goddard. The ace deck is actually an ace thief. I smell a best selling novel. There's only one problem it simply isn't true. But Mr. Goddard. Mr. Ryo has made some very strong points, and I... I admit my opponent has woven and compiled an area out of a whole cloth, but it is in fact nothing more than a patchwork guild, Mr. Dright. If this detective is really a thief, then show us the proof of your claim. But if you... But it had better be hot, or as perfect as the coffee dripping down in your face. Well, Mr. Wright, don't just stand <laughs> That's the first time he's on our side! This court would like to see this decisive proof you have, quickly. Huh? Oh, yes, of course. What's the big rush? Are you alright, Nick? Enemies should be rattled off right now. I'd like to finish this right now if I can, but if I can really do it. That evidence proves Mr. Luke Adam is, in fact. It has yet to be found. Proof? Of course, I, uh, I uh, got nothing. Ah, just as I tough. A man that has a whole, all this head high up, no matter how bad things get after all. Uh, I see. I thought perhaps you heard some evidence to back up your assertion. This is no good. I, I got to stay on the attack. Never got an a chance to move this guy is the thief. Don't give up, Nick. Think, think harder and try again. It's not good. I'm, I'm just not ready yet. But, but, but are you just going to give up and lose like this? So you've come to your senses, have you, sir, lawyer? I, uh, I can't think of a counterattack at all. It seems the cloud of suspicion around this witness has lifted. Mr. Goddard, if you have anything further to add, then... Let's... Hold what? it. Who, who, who? Oh, look at that. Who are you? That doesn't really matter right now, does it? Miss Delight, what are you doing here? Becky boy! You've been looking for. 
I think I found it. You mean that bag? No, not the bag. What's in the bag? Well, Th that's. The sacred urn! Nick, it's the urn! Order, order, order! You, madam! But How did I knew that bag was holding the urn? Quite heavy and smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, indeed. And it was on the table. Yup. How did she find it is my question. Uh, oh, easy. The ace detective. But she's not a detective. Never you mind. never believe it. But remember, she lives to right on the edge. What if yeah, she took true. the edge to barge in his home, took the back, checked ow, checked his uh, his back what was in it, and then came back to us to live on the edge? Yeah, I guess we'll just have to see. Sounds interesting. Go ahead, Chira. Possibility. You never believe it. It was in the office of Mr. Fancy Pants. I used to take the look at me. Fancy Pants. Oh, Darcy, your pass. Sacred urn updated to the court record. Well, how do you explain that one, Mr. Adam? At me. Mm. Mm. Even you. You are going to have a hard time weaseling out of this one. Huh. Pathetic. Mr. Goddard, do you have something you wish to say? Yes, Your Honor. It simply amaze me how quickly t times change. In the old days, a man was by taken by his words. It's truly sad. You're still denying that Mr. Atme was involved? If you are casting accusations at the de detective Adney, consider the young lady here. Your name is Desiree. Desiree Delight. Is that correct? Yes. What about it? Ah, I needed a new coffee. Thank you. Huh. Ah, how charming. The length of a woman is willing to go to save her husband is truly inspiring. What are you incentating? As a wife of the criminal, you should have the discovered the stolen urn anywhere. Including the office of a good detective here. So you found the urn, what that proof? It surely doesn't prove where the urn was before you found it. What? I just brought it in here from the detective's office. <laughs> Please, madam, don't spoil my good coffee. This town is already filled to the brim of with lies. Any more should go and compound the strategy we all have been witness to do. You're wrong. I would never. I would never do such a thing. Mr. Light. Please, Nicky boy. You got to help me talk some sense in those people. There must be some way. There's the proof their urn actually is in the act of me. Show the fingerprints on the urn? I think about these two, but yeah. Fingerprints make more sense. I can prove where the urn was by the fingerprints on it. Fingerprints, eh? Now you're really making me laugh, sir lawyer. Fingerprints indeed. Fingerprints, fingerprints. May I go on? Good. Now, it would be perfectly understandable if my fingerprints were on the urn. After all, it was I who was guarding the urn in the first place. 
why is then the urn fully printed with yeah with uh yeah pink uh pain. yeah in any case i am always in the habit of wearing gloves as you can see So, unfortunately, my fingerprints wouldn't be evidence of anything. What about it, Mr. Wright? This witness's fingerprints would mean nothing anyway. Nick, what are you going to do now? I've come too far to turn back now. Adam, Adam must have brought the urn back to his office yesterday. There, I'm sure someone must have left fingerprints on it. The friends proves that the fingerprints on this urn should be this person on the urn. Okay, let which one, bro? According to this, you present your own profile. Wait a According minute. This, it does make sense because it's a year ago. I have touched well, it. No, but remember, we touched it when we were at his office. We were looking oh. in the bag. Remember? Good point. Good point. So what is all this fuss about fingerprints anyway? Mr. Adam, do you recall the events of yesterday? Hey Dick, come on, open it up. Hey, wait a minute, we can just open his private property. Don't be such a fuddy duddy. This is important investigation. Wow, what's in there? Hang on, on a sec. I'm taking it out now. Whatever it's, whatever it is, it feels kind of hard and smooth. <laughs> well, hello there. If it's true that I didn't get the chance to look in the back at the time. But, I did touch what was inside. What? You, you touched it? And I remember it very well. It was smooth and hard. Well, uh, that was just... Your Honor, I'd like the court to examine the fingerprints on that urn. And my fingerprints are on there. It proves that the urn was in the detective enemy's office. Well, even if your fingerprints are on that urn, it still doesn't prove when they were put in there, does it? Of course it does. What? What did you say? It's not what I sa say. What about Ms. Andrews and person charged to exhibit it sad? I polish it, but it was just about glowing. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. If she paused it that much, she must have removed any all, and all fingerprints on it. And the only chance I had to get my fingerprints on it after it was yesterday at the act at me detective and you see. Oh, this blend. Got it blend 107. I decided. It's a little too bitter after all. Honor, <laughs> <laughs> honor, honor, I accept defense's request. Bailiff, take this urn and. Wait! Wait a moment, Your Honor. There's no need for that. No need, you say? Precisely. I already know Miss Fright's fingerprints are on the urn. Yeah, right! Lying Pinocchio here! It's already reaching the ground, buddy, when you're looking that way! What are you saying? Yes, I finally broke him down. <laughs> Ah, take a good look, everyone. 
Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself. Here I am, the tragic clown. This guy is not nuttier than a fruitcake. You see, it was me all along. I am the one and only Master Maskew. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed my little performance. Wow, how did we broke it that easily? Hey, his brain cell got broken there. <laughs> okay, his what the hell? Error, 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 error. this guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Goddard, what's Mr. Atme's condition? He's still in the lobby, laughing at Sally, your honor. I wish I could enjoy the joke as much as he seemed to be. Well, it looks like the matter has been settled. I came perilously close to this merging the record of an innocent young man. Smirching him with the title of thief. Nick, you were right after all. Yeah, I guess Mr. Light wasn't really the thief. The court finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight. What? Uh -oh. Wrong, wrong. I tell you, um, um, uh, I mean, not exactly. Wrong too much, but actually not right is what you really trying what I trying to say. Uh oh, he's not this can be happening. The thief, the sneaky audio thief who has been stealing all the treasures. It's me, it's him. I'm the one you want. I'm the thief, I tell you. Oh no, now we've got two people claiming to be him. Enormously guilty. Please! I don't know what kind of a kangaroo court you all think this is, but... The two identity of the thief already has been proven. Please hurry and pass your judge. What are you talking about? Already confessed. I'm the thief, I tell you. <clears throat> Mr. Goddard, don't just stand and drinking coffee. Huh. <sighs> Hey there, Mr. Thief. Yes, yes, sir. If you are really a man, then clean up your own mess. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I just don't have any idea. If you are a mask mask guy, then prove it. That's what it means. Yes, sir. I'll be happy to. He says he'd be happy too, Nick. It's kind of cute. You want to go sit committed to his fantasy? Good boy, just remember one thing. A boy only gets one chance in his life to become a man. I know that. I don't care. I saw that. Okay then, talk. We're all listening. Oh, well, let's all have a listen to this confession. Okay, here we go. The truth is, I've been mask star, the mask all along. I mean, you can't prove that I'm not exactly mask star, the mask can you? I don't have an alibi for the night the earth was stolen after all. I donned my costume that night and instantly descended upon the scene of the crime. Look, you just right there on the photo, that's me. You just kind of look like the same guy dressed out there. That's true, yeah. my bro. I snapped in on the door handle and got torn off. That's all. Hmm. I don't like the direction this trial has taken. This is how every trial goes, at least with me anyway. Huh. Mmm, tasty coffee. You're doing great. 
<laughs> Stop it, Mr. Fireball. You're embarrassing me. Like I said, you're only getting going to get one chance to testify, alright? If you don't make it true with this with flying clouds, I will keep my promise to you. I will make sure you will be locked up in prison as one the only true ma mass in MSK. Thanks so much, Mr. Goddard. I'll do my best. All right, Mr. Wright, I'm afraid it's time for the class examination. Uh... Okay! D hear me, fake Watson. Okay, so you present Ron's wallet on statement 2. Oh, I was already there. Wallet, 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 wallet. There we go. Mr. Delight, this wallet belongs to you, correct? Uh, yes, it does! I have lost it somewhere! Mr. Wright, when you find a wallet, you should report it to the police right away. But Smiley found it, not Wright. Yeah, when some, usually something smells, it's usually... The bus. Ah, uh, no, you don't understand. This is actually an important piece of evidence. Evidence? Mr. Delight, when did you first notice that you lost your wallet? I think that was the night of the crime. But I know I still had it when Darcy and I went out for dinner. Then what if I was on the... Uh, help? Approximately. Approximately 1 a.m. at the KB security at the headquarters. What? Surely you're not serious. Yes, I'm serious. This proves the lie was, in fact, at the KB security that night. No! So if the defendant was at the KB security at 1 o'clock in this morning, that proves that he has a watertight alibi. No! Furthermore, considering that this is between Lord Tra Trailer and the KB security, it should be have taken 30 minutes to get by a car, according to Larry, anyway. Well, Mr. Goddard, do you have anything to say? Mmm, tasty coffee. And stop drinking that coffee. Come on, Mr. Thief. Don't let this guy be you. Tell him why he's wrong. You're the only one who calls me thief, Mr. Goddard. Alright, I promise. I'll do it. I will. He's really got Mr. Delight all worked up. Yeah, he's like a kid at his first day at school. Look, I just ridiculous. Why would I have dropped my wallet at the KB security? Someone must have planted it there to make it look like I was there and not at the haze. Landed it there? He's really reaching now. Mr. Delight, you probably dropped your wallet when you took it out of use this, didn't you? The key card to the CEO office. No. <laughs> That's a pretty good try, Mr. Delight. Unfortunately, you have overlooked one small thing. What? Motive, of course. Why should this thief go to the KB security in the middle of the night anyway? Hmm, well, Mr. Wright, it looks like you need some more evidence after all. Ah, this stupid cat! Now then, let's see your evidence. Don't tell. Uh, you know, like, oh. Uh, yeah, black wheel letters. Mr. Light, I believe you've seen this before, correct? Oh, 
What is it? A blackmail letter. That's what it looks like from the contents. Blackmail? Yes, basically it says bring 50k dollars. Hmm, that certainly sounds like blackmail, right? At the time of the tab, Mr. Light had to deal with the blackmailer himself. And the KG CEO office at a full half an hour away from the scene of the crime. Uh, coffee to bitter. I must cook it all down! So, when the thief theft of the urn occurred, the defendant was at KB security. It looks like a perfect case for the defense. Wow, we're gonna have a perfect case! <laughs> you may see it as a perfect case, just but to me. Well, it's just, let's just say my got a blend 107 impresses me a lot more. What are you trying to say? You say the thief was being blackmailed by the CEO of the security company, but did you actually investigate the CEO at all? Huh? Well, no, um, no I guess not. Accusing a man of blackmail with no proof, I'm sure what I'm thinking of that. I'm sure what I'm thinking of that, at least I know what I'm thinking of you. Hmm, good point. I'm not sure what I think of it myself. You claim that the defendant entered the CEO's office. You will need at least one witness to corroborate your claim, Mr. Wright. What? I think we're going to have a track down at the CEO guy. No, we don't have to track down the CEO at all. What do you mean by that, Mr. Wright? There is someone else that can testify. Oh, it smells. <laughs> Who wants to say the line? <laughs> Usually, when it, you smell it, it sound, smells like butts. If something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> Mary Butts. Is he also a friend of uh, Mr. Edward? Who is this useless looking young man? He is. <laughs> He is. They, those two, Mr. Wright, Wright, Phoenix Wright, Miles Edgeworth, and Larry Butts are school friends, or they used to be. Don't you remember him, Your Honor? Mm, not exactly. But just looking at his picture makes the bile start to rise my throat. It looks like he doesn't remember the case from two years ago. He probably blocked out that memory on purpose. Anyway, this man was working as a guard at the case security that night. Oh. The question at hand is this key card. Yep, that's the key card they use in the building at work. According to the CEO number, this one is for the CEO's office. You need it to get into that room, and every time you use that card, it leaves a record. Yeah, it tells you exactly who entered the room and when. Hmm. As you can see, there is no need to investigate the CEO or the KB of security. We should be able to discover the truly by simulating the key card's data. Uh, too much coffee. Ah, oh, that needed. Blah! Too bitter. That is. Well, Mister Goddard. The name of this. The name of the CEO, KB Security, is. 
Keenan Cole. Cole Bolt. Thank you, Bolt. I wasn't able to contact him directly, but I got the keycard data here. So, what does it show? Each card has its own serial number, and they leave detailed records of their use. According to this data, this card was used at 1 a.m. in the morning of the crime. That means it can't be Mr. Delight just as Mask MSQ in this photo. Ha! <laughs> it looks like you are right. Two minutes isn't even enough to brew up a good cup of Joe. So, so then. <clears throat> Ronda Light is clearly in the office of the security CEO at the time of the crime. The prosecutor's office is ready to admit the fa that fact. Therefore, it's impossible for the defendant to beam the mask in this gate. Good job, you did it, Nick. That's enough. I came perilously close to this mansion record of an innocent young man. For smashing him with the thief, the title of thief. Uh, did he say that already? Yeah, what's wrong, your honor? I'm ready to pass judgment, but before I do that, do you have any further objections? <laughs> He feels it! He feels like there's somebody going to say... <laughs> okay, I think I don't have to say. No, your honor. <clears throat> Fail. Oh. Very well. The court finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight, not guilty. Yay. Court is now adjourned. That was a quick case. October 13, 2 24 p.m. The switch for defendant lobby number four. But we're all right, number three. Nick, you did it. You are right after all. But actually, I'm a little bit ashamed of myself. Boy. Oh, oh, Miss Delight. I knew you could do it. I believed it was you and all along, Nicky boy. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Ah, uh, shucks. Thanks, Miss Delight. I just know I'm be I I just know I'm blushing. Please, Mr. Nick. Oh, pearls! I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, she's she's nobody. She's just uh. You're blushing. How dare you to do this in front of Miss Maya? <laughs> <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. She trapped him. Yowch! She slapped me. Um, Pearly. This woman is Miss Desiree Delight. She's our client's wife. <gasps> Mr. Nick! Yes? So even worse than I thought. Going behind the back of your own client. No! You got it all wrong! <laughs> I never forgive you! Ow! A double slap! <laughs> well, anyway. All worlds and swell wide. <laughs> We got the second run back, and the thief has been caught. You're so right, and that's all thanks to Nicky Boy here. But actually, it was you, Miss Delight, that brought us our urn back. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, please, you're embarrassing me. Even if we won the case, why does this guy still look glum? So glum. I am the thief, actually. What's the point now? What is it, honey? I did my best for you, Bernie. I know that, and I appreciate it, Bessie. But the thing is... 
Come on, give the kid some time. Just a little touch on the blues. You know about the f feeling blue, right, amigo? Mr. God, what are you doing here? Oh, come on, I just came here to say thanks to my newest buddy. You, Mr. Trite? <laughs> You're gonna be my coffee buddy. Maybe you should... Maybe you should learn my name before you call me buddy. Well, playtime is over. Huh? Early this morning, the body of King of Bullard was discovered. Oh, Looks like I was wrong. Where have I heard that name before? Isn't that the name of the CEO and Key B security? <gasps> Wait, the, the, the body? This main time of death was 1 a.m. on October 12th. 1 a.m. on October 12th? You don't mean that's right, amigo. At the same time that little cheaper little urn was being stolen, the CRKB office was m being murdered. So then, what are you doing here? Oh, come on, have you figured it out already? Haven't you, amigo? Or have you already forgotten about that piece of information I helped you out with today? Help me out? What? On October 12th, at 1 o'clock in the morning, Ron Delight was in the CEO's office. The scene of the murder. After getting the blackmail letter, he must have been murdered with utter rage. Come on, don't tell me you didn't know. Wonder I was once an employee, KB security. He was a professional security guard. Employee of the KB security? Actually, his alibi saved him from being convicted as a thief. It's going to be it's getting him hanged, kind of an anti alibi. No way. He can't be the thief because he was the murder. He was at the murder scene when the murder occurred. No, that's a lie. It can't be true. Oh, oh, but I, I'm the thief. I tell you. Run the light. You're going back to prison again. This time in charge of so much was serious. This time you'll be be tried for murder. W w what? This can be. This is impossible. I'm looking forward to the Arnold Examen showdown, Mr. Trite. You and I aren't true with each other, other yet. So you won't be back down from a chance. You n have never been a coward. I have returned from the depths of hell to battle with you. At least let me have some fun while I'm here. This guy, who the heck is he? he might be quiet, but it's mostly the dangerous enemy I ever faced. Well then, time for to say goodbye to my to Mr. Delight. Finally, off our own eyes, our re client has been arrested for murder. The one who is established at present was at the scene. Was me. Damn. Arrested for murder on the same very day that declared the innocent for leniency. What the heck is going to happen next? Frick! We set a murder loose! What is remind of us of? First thief, now murder. What the hell is going on? Kind of reminds me of Judgment for some reason. I knew that eventually it was gonna have a murder of some kind. It usually is the case with these this series. Yeah, it does, huh? But yeah guys, this is sadly it for this week. If you like the content so far, make sure to hit that sexy free follow button and also the notification bell so you get no notifications coming in. You can also go to Twitch that features Mega Man Dragonoid where I'll be putting down my streams. You can also go to dv.com says Mega Man Dragonoid while you see my art appearing. 
And if you want to go to Shiraz or Justin's, they can go ahead. Okay, if you want to go to my YouTube, you just search for Princess Sira. If you want to go to my YouTube, it's just Parodies Man. And that was it. That, that's it for this week. I wish you all a good day, a good week, and I'll see you around, my operators. Peace! And sorry I have to change the name because I've kind of forgot that I'm use, make, I made a new server because of the hacking that happened. He was hacked last week, so he had to make a new Discord <laughs> server, and now we are turning back from, from 0 to 10. Make yep. sure... Make sure you will able, if you want to join the Discord server, contact Mega Man Dragonite. But make sure you will have to have your uh, ID or something else uh, ready. So maybe you know Daddy as well. Make sure. Make sure you are. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you have a verified account and don't send stuff that are invalid or downloads make sure it's not that you're a hacker if you're a hacker you'll be immediately banned from the server so i wish y'all a good day and a good indeed i wish y'all a good day a good week and i will see you ne next week my operators peace, peace.